My perspective of round one of the historic road racing championship was streamed live on my Twitch channel. Here are the highlights. If you're interested in finding out when I'm streaming next, follow me on Twitter. I usually post when I'm streaming the week of. Let's get into how round one looked for me. G'day everyone. There's 20 of you. Wow. Hi to every single one of you. Thanks very much for joining in here for uh, the HRRC. Oh, it's just fell down to 18. Looks like my uh, my ugly mug turned some of you off, huh? <laughs> All right. This is my car. Isn't she beautiful? Eight O S J M. Thank you for the follow. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of follower alerts here because um, I've been terrible at promoting my Twitch channel. Um, that's all good. Let's join the server. So, round one at Longford. This is going to be a fun one. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Uh, I really enjoyed the test race at Rouen. But Longford being my home race, I uh, I certainly uh, have my hopes high for this one. Um, I did some fuel usage calculations earlier. It's looking like I'm getting 4.7 litres a lap because... Um, this series uses 2x fuel consumption. Everything I just said was wrong, and I would find out the hard way later. Oh wow, that's a lot of people loading in, eh? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, one of the uh, faster cars coming up on me there. That is a 3 litre machine. If, um, if you're not familiar with how HRRC is going to work, um, in terms of car numbers, the 5 litre cars have a 1 at the front of their number, the 3 litre cars have a 2, and the 2 litre cars have a 3. So I'm driving car 330. Maserati, A6 GCS, 2 litre, in line 6. Pre-qualifying actually went really well for me. I uh, set the second fastest two litre time and I was only separated from P1 by about seven hundredths of a second so I'm feeling pretty good about my pace tonight. Setup feels good, I feel good. Hopefully I survive the first couple of laps and we end up having a really fun night. Reese Gardner rounds the final hairpin to begin his final attempt at a qualifying lap. Will he be able to put it on pole in the two-litre class? The lap was a 2.40.50. There we go. Half a tenth down. Try can gain some time in this sector. Just catching the grass on entry there. I was on the verge. Ah, a little wide. Probably going to lose most of that gain down here. Try our best though. We 
a little bit deeper into the final hairpin this time. Didn't quite kick the rear out as I wanted to, but we'll see what that's worth. There we are. 238.5 to end it. And where did that put me? Yes! Second in the two liter class, 15th overall. That's where we're starting. Smile, I'm on camera. The face of a man who does not know what is coming. Got my fellow Aussie, Matt Wright, starting just behind me in a, um, in a Gordini. Also in an Aussie livery. Here we go. Well, that was quick. I wasn't expecting there to be only one light going up. Right, now there's only one car in between me and Sal. Make it easy down to turn one. Got people getting on the brakes already. Oh wow, oh wow, already got cars crashing. Hay bales everywhere. Frank Godrecki car behind me in the 3 litre Aston. Oh, okay. Taking a bit too much out of the brakes too early. Calm it down. Don't focus on what's behind you. Focus on what's in front of you. Three litre cars are going to start getting me here. Sal's already 1.2 seconds ahead. That's him on the right. That's the class lead there. Oh no! Into the runoff. Now there's nothing separating me from the class lead. It's a one lap race, people. <laughs> Alright, just take it easy. Walk the car. Ferrari going off up ahead. Those two battling five litres forced Sal to check up. I had better momentum and the slipstream, so I fancy to go at the class lead going down the final straight. Slipstream, boys. In hindsight, I could have pulled it off, but despite braking early, I still didn't brake hard enough and overshot the final corner. It's hard to get a feel for the drum brakes this car has, especially when they're still cold. That and I was offline into the hairpin, which certainly didn't help. Ah, oh, understeer. Damn it. Fast forward to lap four. I decided to allow two of the three leader cars past me and focus on keeping it clean because they looked like they were in their own battle anyway. Still early days, so best to just let things play out at this point. Keep an eye on the timing in the bottom right. Silvio Rodriguez in P14 is the current third place car in two liter. Feel like I'm in a rhythm now. We're catching up to these guys. Is Sal still at the front of this train? Or is that him there? Is that a three? Yes, 304, that's Sal. Alright, relax the shoulder. Three liters lock and brakes. I really hope these guys find their way past Sal soon and we can actually fight properly. Otherwise, it's going to be a race in the pits. There's the slipstream on Sal. I'm 
I'm not going to pass him. I'm just going to sit behind for a bit. Unless I feel like I am legitimately way faster than him. Just going to sit behind, lift off, save a bit of fuel. My fellow Aussie, Matt Wright, in the 3 litre Gordini, decided to pop in and say, G'day, mate. Goodness, Matt. Slow it down in time, mate. Go on. There we go. And I'm seeing the car behind us. It's Jake Britton. He topped the 2 litre class in pre-qualifying. And it's currently 3rd in class. So us two leader top three are together, and oh, that was a mistake from Sal. going to go for it. I'm not confident enough. Is Sal going to try and get him back? Going to get up the inside. Oh dear. Little tap between the Aussies. Jesus, Matt. What's going on? That was a oh, I just lost second. Through goes Jake. That's almost going to be another position lost here with Rodriguez coming up behind. Let's take it easy. Another mistake from Sal. He's off. He's off. Oh, he went into the bloody fence. Sal, no. All right, back into second. Now Jake's in the lead, and I'm still in the middle of a battle for two leader top three. At the start of lap 7, us top 3 were tightly bunched, and at the right-hander through the town of Longford itself, Silvio made his move. No, oh, he's trying, he's trying. Alright, Rodriguez, you can have it. I'm just biding my time at the moment. I know I'm quicker than these guys. Come on, Rodriguez. If we start losing time to Jake, I might just have to try and find a way back past him. Alright, so... Coming up to the end of our seventh lap. And we will have used 50 litres by the time we complete that seventh lap. The stream is currently on me, is it? Are you trying to make me crash? Not making much inroads on Jake, are we? Look, it's all about preservation right now. I'm not in full-on attack mode. I'm going to save that for the end. I just got to make sure that I stay within the top three and at least close to the lead. Here we go, Rodriguez has caught up to Mr. Britton. And as I was scrolling through those menus, it looks like I actually picked up some damage from that contact with uh, Matt a little earlier. 
but it doesn't seem to be much in the way of uh, damage that's actually going to hurt me. So I think I will elect not to re do any repairs when I come into the pits, because that'll probably set me back quite a ways. Side by side for the lead. What are you going to do, boys? Side by side. Two leader battle is looking amazing. Oh, Rodriguez nearly lost it on the way in. Hello, who's this? Oh, that's a very damaged 5-litre Ferrari. That car was Enzo Fazzi, a very quick driver and winner of the test race at Rouen. Unfortunately, he had made contact with a tyre on the inside of the Longford pub right-hander and flipped. He would ultimately retire. All right, it was 96.2 at the line last lap. Now it is 89.3. It was at this point I realized my projected strategy was very wrong. I had made an incorrect assumption and was using more fuel than I thought I was. That would come back to bite me, as would my own driving, but not before I took second place in two liter back from Silvio. Yeah, actually I am using a full tank of fuel over the course of an hour. So, I think I might as well top it up at the pit stop. Hello, mistake. Yeah, well, March on the way things are looking, I'm going to be using a full tank of fuel in an hour. So, you know, I just, I just pit at the midway mark, pit with an hour to go and fill up the tank again. Another mistake, and that means I am going to be by clean. Sounds pretty sweet. Save the car and attack on your second fuel tank. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Just gotta try my best not to get involved in anything stupid. Speak to the chat only on the straights. Corners are starting to get dangerous. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty in control right now. Death Metal Santa, thank you for the follow. Although you are right, um, especially as the fuel level goes down, the car is going to get a lot more unstable, and so I'm going to have to be more on my guard in the corners. Ain't that the truth? Watch this. Oh. You guys see what I mean about the car being more unstable? Oh god. It's like a switch has been flipped. Rear end is definitely more unstable now. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Oh no, now, now Rodriguez is out too? I'm gonna stick to the left here. Hello, Illabrand. Give me your slipstream. He's saying hi to me. <laughs> ah, 
It's alright. I'll be able to attack again when I put fuel in the car. Speaking of, 41.4 litres. Think about pitting soon. It's plain to see that the instability was building, and when I started my 18th lap, the inevitable happened. No, damn it! Shit, I'm stopped. I already did this in my broadcast interview and on the Discord, but one more time I'd like to apologize to the drivers who had to take avoiding action because of my mess up. I'm still stopped. Fucking hell. This is a dangerous spot. Get it going. Get it going, man. I'm just trying to stay out of the way. Okay, there we go. All right, we got back going. We're fine, we're fine. We're okay. Thank God that wasn't in the bloody uh, first part of the race. Otherwise, that would have been disastrous for a lot of drivers. It's okay. We're still holding on to a good position in class. At least as far as I'm aware. I managed to keep it going, though, and it came time to pit. But to add insult to injury, I overshot the pit box. Oh, and one hour remaining as I come into the lane. Thanks to the way R Factor 2 handles selecting reverse, I couldn't fix the problem as quickly as I wanted to. I overshot the, the fucking box. More time lost. Ah. Uh, I'm falling apart, guys. I'm falling apart. <laughs> that was a three forty six. All right, there we go. Now time to try and feel safe to the end. Right, so, coming up behind me. Tobias Rona. One of the five leader boys. I would expect him by me potentially on the next straight. If he doesn't try to go to the move into the final hairpin here. See. Yeah, I think Tobias is going to get me on the way into turn two. Maybe. Was a two forty one point five six. Okay, two forty ones. All right, let Tobias go on the inside here. I love the way he's incorporated the German flag into that Ferrari design. Really nice. Yeah, it looks like uh, a lot of people probably committing to a two-stopper. I'm still trying my best to keep saving fuel. I mean, it helps that I've got Kane up ahead of me here. He's in a three-liter, so he's a little faster than me in a straight line, but... Um, it's good because I can get a tiny bit of slipstream off him. Just as I say that, he overshoots. Damn it! <laughs> That's my toe gone! <laughs> I jinxed him. Right, so, here's some numbers for you all. One lap is about 2.6 minutes. 2.66 to be exact. 
Um, so 10 laps. Take about 26 and a half minutes. Maybe a little less. So, if by 26 minutes to go, I have more than 69 litres in the car, nice. I'm home free for fuel. Hang on a minute. 33 minutes left. Hmm. Oh, I could be on for it. Could be on for it. I was not on for it. 12 laps from here on in, that makes 83 litres of fuel to use. Well, 86 in the tank as of right now, so I can afford to actually push now. No past Reese, you cannot. What I failed to consider was that the overall leader, GP Labs himself, was ahead of me on track by some margin, having already put a lap on me. The distance I'd cover would depend on when he crossed the line to start his final lap. At least I had time for one more lucky escape. Don't do that. Oh, five minutes remaining just as I cross the line. Hmm. Okay, so... I have two laps worth of fuel left, and... Two laps... is, uh... Well over five minutes. In fact, five minutes and 20 seconds. But again, it depends on when GP Laps crosses the line. Jake is crossing the line now. And that was, let's say, 4.03. He's got two laps remaining. I'm going to have to come in. And so, despite my earlier confidence that a one-stop strategy would work, I had to make a splash and dash right at the end, costing me two positions in class. Crew is ready for pit stop and not a moment too soon. Ah, <sighs> this time, I actually get it into the box. Oh. Yellow flag. And across the line. Fourth. Not bad. Not bad. Could have been better, but not bad. I lost a bunch of time. Um with that spin and also with overshooting my pit box when I took my first pit stop. Yeah, without mistakes, I definitely have the pace to win. That is a that is a great thing to take away from all of this. Next round is next month at Spa. You can check out my uh, announcement video up on my YouTube channel if uh, you don't know when that date specifically is. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Thanks very much for watching everybody, thanks for tuning in, this is by far the most viewers I've actually got on a stream in a while on my personal channel and uh, I'll uh, definitely be streaming a bit more on it in the future. Anyway, <laughs> have a good one everybody uh, and uh, I will catch you when I catch you. Much love, see you later. Thanks to everyone who donated to my Kofi during the stream, and a big thank you to all of my patrons who support my YouTube content over on patreon.com forward slash southpawracer. Special shout out to my super serious supporters Adam Miller, Aerotech, Callum Crayston, Cisco Scaramuzza, CJ Flash 99, Ira Felberg, Jay Kennedy, Jess Moore, Michael Hollinshead, Pub With No Beer, The Original Sticks, Thomas Clarendon Blair, and Tom Hins. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you at the first corner.